the, the idea came in the early 2000s when there was a big investment in the creative sector. Falmouth University was just really rapidly growing from a little art school at that point. We knew there were going to be lots and lots of graduates coming out of graphic design, website design, gaming, or broadcast journalism, all those sorts of things that where you need workspace, really. And there wasn't that workspace in Cornwall. It was also tied up with the fact the internet was just sort of coming alive at that point. We knew there was going to be fiber optic, really fast, uh, fast connectivity, so that you could be in Cornwall as a graphic designer, for example, and work all over the world. So your clients could be anywhere, it wouldn't matter where you were based. So, but there wasn't any workspace really that suited those, those sorts of businesses really. And those businesses we know from experience like to cluster together. So graphic designs, website designs quite like to be with painters and jewelers and textile makers and potters and architects and the furniture makers. And that's the sort of people we have here. Our founding director lived uh, in Redruth, so this felt like home. And Redru uh, Crowdy's a great spot. Um, it's great to be in the heart of a kind of a creative sector um, with creative neighbours all around us. It's a great community of artists and makers. There's a great sort of cohesive force of painters, jewellers, makers. It's just a great place to be. I guess it's just the amazing creative community that we've got here. Um, the fact that we have a cafe on site and there's um, you know just lots of opportunities to meet new people and um, you know share ideas with like-minded people. There's a sort of social hub at the cafe so people meet each other through that uh, and we did a survey a couple of years ago which showed that 45 percent of the people here have worked with each other in some way so the photographers work for the theatre company and do catalogues for the jewellers, the graphic designers do the same sort of thing. So, so there's a lot of that money. Money goes around within the system as well as external contracts and so on. So we, um, we needed to find people to help us with marketing or branding or websites and actually why go further afield when you can actually knock on the door of your neighbour and work with them? There's a, a quite a bit of collaboration. We work together on various projects. There's a lot of exchange of information. Um, we get together and, and discuss ideas that we've got. Being somewhere like Crowdy is, is really good for when you're starting out because um, one of the great things about Crowdy is we do an open studios thing twice a year. Um, and the amount of people and gallery owners and you know potential clients that come around, something like that, there's two opportunities then a year to kind of show your work and you know that's how I think a lot of artists sort of get spotted and picked out for future things um, and also just that community and being around like-minded people is I think really important because it's quite a can be quite a lonely sort of job so like having um, yeah having people around you I think really helps. I think it's been a long, slow process. We've been here 15 years now and a couple of years before that in the planning. And Redruth was a really welcoming town, which is partly why we ended up here when we sort of started working out where we were going to locate the, the, the base. Uh, Redruth really welcomed us with open arms. We've gradually been putting artists into empty shops. We've had a sort of Father Christmas grotto, artist-led grotto in the town centre. Uh, we've been involved in public art in the streets. We've been involved in the festivals and so on. And, I, and now there's two or three art shops, craft shops, the sort of things that wouldn't have been there 10 years ago, I think. And, and I think there's a really good relationship between us and the town centre in that sense. So we've been talking to Cornwall Council about who are planning creative hubs in other towns at the moment, particularly Penzance and then Liscard after that. But I think our vision is that every town could have a place like Crowdview, really. St Ives already has artist studios. Helston's got some really great artist studios. But I think other towns really would benefit from having a workspace like this.